Good evening. I'm literally just doing the washing up. I can't believe it already that my two week paternity is coming to an end. So it's going to be interesting and getting up tomorrow morning early and having to do my run early because that's the only time that I'm going to find to do it. Um, obviously with Charles having the kids and stuff like that, it's, there's no chance of me being able to do it at night. It's just, so it, this was always the plan, but actually putting plan into action is going to be interesting um, because obviously I've had the grace of being able to do it whenever over the last two weeks, which has been great. But a true routine is about to start, so wish me luck and uh, see you in the morning. First one out of the way, 56 minutes, only 7.2k, but just building, endurance, um, getting my muscles used to it. Still having issues with my lower right back. Um, I do have a titanium rod in my right leg um, due to a leg break and an ankle fracture later on down the line as well. So that might have something to do with it. Um, but if any of you watching this are runners and you know hardcore runners or um, everyday runners, or just getting into it yourself as well and you know some specific stretches and workouts pre-run that help keep that at bay or help to limit the, the pressure or improve it over time please let me know because it is doing my head in i feel like it's stopping me pushing that extra bit um but yeah first run out of the way um back at work and i've managed to get it done by 25 to 8 so i'm gonna jump in the shower have a quick snack get in the car and drive to work Got a nice <clears throat> 7.1k in yesterday. Took about 56 minutes. 
but we're just going at a really casual pace as we're on this corner. Again, just still base loading the trainer. Getting that base sorted before we kick on in March to start up in the threshold. Um, we're going to do our first threshold run on officially on Thursday, I think. However, I've been doing that anyway, <laughs> to be fair. Pushing under 7k pace, which is good for me. Uh, yeah, I'm sore, I'm not gonna lie. So, I'm pretty much running for every day since the last, oh god, two and a half weeks now. Um, and people might talk about overload. But I think the pace I've been going at, I'm okay. When you start up in the intensity, I'll probably start like off the uh, the frequency of the runs. But yeah, just get her going. Good morning, guys. Just finished. 4.3k. Roughly 4.46k, sorry. Average pace is 7.19. I think that might be my quickest yet. Um, I had no intention of doing that. I'm supposed to be going out at nine kilometers, a nine kilometer pace, per minute. nine minutes per kilometer pace to get my legs recovering. But I just felt strong. The only thing that's hindering me, honestly, is my weight, I've got a gut. And my back, really struggling with that. I could have pushed 5k at that. Some points was averaging six and a half minutes per kilometer, which for me is massive to sustain that for five, six, seven minutes. Um, so I'm looking forward to my threshold run because I've kind of brought that forward and done that today, but this will hold me accountable to push harder. The hills, those gradual ascents are tough. Um, they're not. Some of them aren't very steep, they're just quite long. You're looking at a four or five hundred meter um, stretch of gradual incline. Some's relatively steep. And then 30 second break and engine just kicks in. And this is what I'm talking about. I am no expert, but these longer distance runs at a slow pace, I give my legs so much strength and endurance that I'm able to push quicker, not even for shorter bursts, for longer bursts. I feel strong. Don't get me out wrong, I'm out of breath. I've just sprinted up the hill at the very last minute. Um, but it's getting to the point now I'm beating the clock, doing my own route. So I need to find um, a, a different route because usually I'm doing four and a half K in comfortably 35, 36 minutes, even a little bit longer if that's how long it wants me to run. But it wants me to do 32 minutes and I just wanted to get. Um, a decent distance and a decent time for me so by the time i'd hit 4.2k i still had five minutes left of running so or 4k i've had five minutes left of running so i've had to slow down and just do a lap so i could have done it quicker genuinely um super stoked with that i thought my average pace was quicker but i'll take it i want to be in the sixes by next week this is day two of this week it's about day 50. <laughs> Tuesday, and we are Thursday and I'm running this week. Uh, I think we had a rest day Saturday. Yeah, so this is Tuesday done with. Wednesday tomorrow of course we we're out at 6 30 a.m. on the dot today day before I think similar averaging around 5k a day for the last 14 to 15 days with a couple of days rest through a few 10k's 7 8 9k's thrown in there all averaging between we yeah, are averaging anywhere from seven to seven and a half minutes per kilometer which I know is slow but that is um, not a huge step up for me plus a considerable protrusion off my stomach already um, I don't know what my weight is I weighed 
when I first weighed myself a couple of weeks ago, I haven't not done any exercise for years, I was weighing in at around 87.8 kilos, which is clinically obese, I guess, for somebody of my height. I'm around 5 foot 7, um, so that uh, 87 kilos is roughly 185, 190 pounds, something like that. Hopefully we'll drop some weight pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll get in the gym tomorrow morning because we're supposed to be doing a little bit of a rest tomorrow. And we'll jump in the gym, do some light weights and, uh, and weigh myself. Uh, yeah, been at work today. I need to go and spend some time with my kids. So I'll see you in the morning. Today is a rest day, so there won't be much footage. We've just been at work. Oh no, it's all right, we'll get another one. We'll get another one. Yeah. Okay, come on then. We're just at the lake where we usually go for a run. Look at that lovely backdrop. Here's my lovely other half, Charlotte. So we're gonna do probably 45 minutes to an hour tomorrow. Probably have a little bit of a rest day on Friday or do a easy three and a half k or something and then we've got a park run on saturday our first ever park run over at uh harrington park so that should be fun uh we're just gonna throw sticks in the lake can't we dude yeah yeah wow well done hope you get quick there's mud everywhere let's walk around this way and we can meet mommy are you having a good day? Yeah. Are you, how are you finding it with baby sister? Are you enjoying it? You, mummy and baby sister, are you enjoying it? I get to stick. You threw a stick in the lake? Yeah. Good boy, let's go then. Oh, the moon's out, dude. The moon's out. Huh? 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 Not up for this one today. Rest day yesterday. It's feeling sick this morning. It's like six degrees, feels like two apparently. Arms a struggle. 6.40 in the morning. Let's go. Good morning guys. Oh, I didn't want to go out for that one today at all. Literally one rest day, missing the run in the morning. Killed my motivation, man. And got up, felt sick, felt heavy last night. I'm in an hour in, but pushed myself out. Um, some of the hills have, have ripped my blower back off. And it's tough because I've gone out, I think my quickest for my first two and a half K, usually I'll, I'll go out really slow. Just sort of push it a little bit this morning. Definitely more to give, but because of that, in the middle section, and there's a, a long gradual in, uh, incline, um, about a 700 meter incline. Yeah, it's only like a 2% gradient, 3% gradient, but it's tough because of the length of it. So trying to adjust your pace, but because I've put the pace in at the start, probably not stretching enough, I don't know. I keep getting this lower back issue. And then I've got to slow down for another K to reset. And then I get, I get the rest of my engine. Um, and I think it's still slow but it's the quickest I've done. I've managed to do a 5K there with inclines, three or four inclines, um, and one decent decline, don't get me wrong, but the rest of it's pretty um, undul undulating. Uh, in 34, 35 or 34, 45, I'm really hoping I can knock that minute and a half off in the next week. Um, to get there, when I was doing a 40 minute 5K, <sighs> two weeks ago, Stopping, starting, blasting out five and a half, uh, five and a half minutes per kilometre pace, then having to walk, which is fine by the way. Um, but now completing 5k, which I've done several times and 10k, 
um, and the next will be looking to just do as long as I can until I can kind of go within two hours I think I'll set a time limit but yeah 34.45 let's double check execution score was low because I was supposed to be doing um, supposed to be doing nine minutes per kilometre <coughs> finally got under seven minutes per kilometre Saturday, we are at Harrington Country Park, which is just opposite the Penshaw Monument, which is beautiful, on this wonderfully almost spring minus two degree morning, minus two degrees, for my first ever park run. It is rammed. I'm super excited. I've been nervous, but I'm so excited because the views are incredible. I don't know why I forgot how beautiful Harrington Country Park was. Um, but yeah, this should be interesting. Haven't managed to get my barcode printed, so time's going to be from the watch. Let's go. Yeah, we're rocking the Adios 3s today. Quite decided whether we're going to try and run a PB or incorporate this into training, to be honest. But I'll let you know when we get there. It's freezing to the... It's a busy one. Um, be interesting to see the whole process from start to finish, to be honest. Lots of people in much better shape than me. Um, I know part runs obviously a very inclusive thing, which is great. This is the amphitheater where we'll be kind of finishing. Nerves have gone. I'm just gonna enjoy this one. I don't think I'm gonna go all out. We'll try and work out what my threshold is. Um, yeah, as I said, I haven't actually got my barcode, which is unfortunate, but we'll go by the, the trusty Epix Gen 2. I'm sure that will be more than enough. What a beautiful day, minus it being absolutely Baltic. It uh, should be a good one. finished. I set myself a target of 33 minutes and I've absolutely nailed it. 31.39 so I'm absolutely over the moon. Um, 
Hello. Yeah, so much more to come. I was expecting maybe six weeks to be sub 30, but I think at this rate, maybe in three weeks, I probably had a little bit more pushed in the wrong areas. If I can work on my pacing properly, I think. Yeah, but I didn't manage to get any footage whilst I was doing it because I was just concentrating with it doing my first park run. I thought a little bit difficult to record at the pace I was going in. I wanted to beat my, my PB, which I'm absolutely over the moon at our first opportunity of trying, and I'm aware that that's going to come a little bit easier for me because, you know, my times were slower, but from 38 to 31 in three weeks, I've put the effort in, I've listened to um, online running coaches, done so much, um, what's the word I'm looking for, <laughs> research, but obviously put that into practice as well, and I absolutely cannot wait to continue this journey this year it's been amazing like the video that's a recoup of this week we'll try and get some footage of people coming in oh some lovely views we're parked just over here oh shit we're nearly gone there Terrible decision. But yeah, 31, 39, we're nearly gone again. I actually think it was a little bit less than that. I stopped and started restarting my watch accidentally um, when I'd already hit the 5K and come to the finish line. So we're talking seconds, maybe 31, 37. Um, but absolutely over the moon. Look at these views. Lots of wildlife about. The Penshaw Monument up in the distance there which is almost gladiatorial. Um, is that a word? I've enjoyed this so much. Like, when they talk about it being inclusive, what a community. I'll be back to a park run every week, if not every other week. Really, really happy. What a way to start your Saturday. <sighs> Glorious. It was icy, mind. It was icy, which was difficult at times. Um, but one that for me, being such a beginner, running with a crowd, I enjoyed. It gives you, it helps pacing, um, which I know I spoke about, I need to work on. Um, but you don't always feel the need to push, but there's opportunities where you know you can. Having people around you helps. So, loved it. 